Welcome back, Wester here. Okay, we're looking at part three here. We had some issues trying to access the files and I showed you how to access it through SSH and your machine. So what I've discovered, um, one of the guys on the um, Discord for MPX basically said, hey, just try closing down your browser, rebooting your printer. So I think it might be a caching issue potentially with your browser. So. So I did that, so I closed down the um, closed down my browser, opened it up again, and restarted my connection. And then when I click on machine now, you can see that the results folder has changed now. Um, and it, it was saying it was 1970 <laughs> before, so and now inside those folders are each subsequent folder whereas before there was just a bunch of files in there so I don't know what what, that, what that's all about but um, so yeah so in the input shaper now you can now click on the PNG files so there's three in there I've done three of them um, and it brings up the graphs so that's good so yeah, so it's all it's all pretty automated. Um, so just try that. Just try closing down your browser <coughs> and re and rebooting your. So basically, do this, do a full reboot, and then close your browser, restart, and then connect connect in, and you should be able to see so your backspace into your other folders by going back, and you can see there's a PNG there for the belts. Yeah, so the, so the basics are you just got to home all, and um, once you've done the home all, then you can select one of the new macros, which is axis, axis shaper calibration, belt shaper calibration, and exitate. And each one of those options have got different options. Um, so you can tell it what frequency to start at, what frequency to finish at, but I just leave it stock standard because they are the ranges that work. So, so yeah, so hopefully that um, helps out some of you guys that are getting frustrated trying to get this working. So cheers, cheers, Westy over and out.